Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching every single day. In today's video, we take our very first how to survive solos look into Caldera. So many people have been struggling with this map, how to make rotations, how to win in the end game. And we're breaking down every mistake and every right thing that we're doing to help pick up power the map where people are rotating from, where we should expect, and most importantly, how to win those clutch 1v1 gunfights. If you guys enjoy this style of video, please do me a favor, drop a like on it. If you want to be here live, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. And of course, subscribe to this channel for more Caldera content. We just passed through 30,000 subscribers, and I'm really appreciating all the love recently. But without further ado, we're going to jump into today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. All right, let's get into it. Let's do a little coaching this game, yeah? So much of this map is like trying to figure out, or at least the early experience is trying to figure out some of the synergies of the ground loot. Like right now, I'm not really sure what weapons I want to rock. Like if I pick up a sniper, what what guns am I looking for to help be a good sniper support? My gut right now is telling me an STG because it's still got a pretty good aim down sight, a really clean iron sight. A lot of dead bodies up here. We saw some gunshots. Not a head. Still here. Still hearing loot under me. But the loot all of a sudden stopped. But I think he's down here somewhere. Brilliant deduction, old chap. So it's kind of a... An interesting, like, I guess, deduction I made there is like, I didn't hear the, the boxes there that I know that are here, but I did hear them here. And then as I came back, I heard less boxes. So then I knew he had like progressed. Still the potential for a lot of people, but I got 24,000. Oh no. So I'm gonna hold this for a second. Because if he gets greedy, he's gonna have to hit the glide animation. Gotta be careful though, I have some piece of cover if he does peek. That bloom though is terrible. And so is this noise. Oh, that is so bad. I think the NZ is going to be a fantastic sniper support. Okay. So tough to see. Thinking we need recon here. UAV okay. beginning flyover. Looks like he's running out. Is great news. We got one player possibly in the air. Actually, he might be actually on the hill behind us. Deal with this player first. Oh no. UAV is out of turning for resupply. I see him. Marked where he land, that way I can get a good idea of where he's going. I'm gonna swing away from the windows that he could have held me at. He's still gonna hold me anyways. He sees me. Off the UAV just in case he swings out here. wide. UAV beginning flyover. You got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Okay, so maybe. I don't know. I I got took two plates off me. That was pretty impressive, actually. We'll rock the trust the MP. All right, so now we've got this really fast aim down sight, car 98, and then the Type 100, which... Oh, no. Based off of how many shots he was missing there, I felt comfortable re-challenging. 
originally when i got shot by that other guy on the right right he was not missing i was about ready to die and so that's why i instantly dive bomb down into the tunnel this guy is pretty scared of me as he should be gotta watch my back yep okay he got the res up gotta keep in mind there i don't remember where he is i think he's there There he is. Okay, I couldn't remember. I thought he was over there. Uh, but I second-guessed myself. Um, grenade times have been reduced. Grenade times are now, um, four seconds instead of five seconds. So you can't throw your grenades as far, but they will blow up sooner. Down here, I noticed this vehicle got out. I'm gonna scan around with the thermal. Got one player. Thermal's actually really nice, especially with all the foliage in the map. But yeah, I was about to say, I still feel like... Okay, so we got three players, and I don't know where the third one is. Let's say... Oh, and there's third. Let's go. And then fourth, what, or third was somewhere over here. Um, so yeah, we saw... I saw it coming from the high ground, right? So I was thinking maybe it was in here. And then basically what I was doing is I was looking at that guy in the truck, waiting for him to get in that truck animation, right? Because the truck animation is really predictable. And he can't move. So I just took advantage of that. That is actually massive. They just did me a huge solid there. Recon here. UAV beginning flyover. UAV beginning flyover. Nice. I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. Here's your direction. Okay, so there's a guy up here. I'm basically just gonna beeline. Try to get into cover. Big information there. UAV is out. This should draw draw his eyes towards me. Surprisingly not. That's all good. Let's go ahead and get our ghost. He is ghosted though. So we're gonna try to beat him on the rotate. We have one other player on our radar though. Immediately check behind us. He was above us, according to that one UAV, but it still means he could be, like, in the ladder room or something. He's got one other player behind us that's not ghosted. No. Mm, let's go. Thinking we need recon here. UAV beginning flyover. I thought I had a gas. I should have bought a gas in the in the buy. That might be him. Eyes on the target. UAV is out of fuel. Turning for resupply. Got one more guy on my left. Wow. He didn't have a gas mask, is what I was looking for there. Constantly checking my surroundings. It doesn't look like this high ground is going to be safe. But I'm not going to float off because I'm literally just a, a target for everyone in the world if I float off. I'm still wrapping really close to, to, to look for any late rotators, as we would with any pinwheel rotation. Checking our sides. Looks like we're clear. 
Now I'm going to take a look over the top of mines. Gas is closing in. Should be relatively safe. And not a very up. far pull on the Price next zone. This is good for me. Give me a second to collect myself. When I first saw that guy on the hill, I really shouldn't have gone for the quick scope, especially since I haven't been playing mouse and key a lot recently. Um, and haven't been obviously not like experienced with the sniper in this game. I really should have just stunned him and gone for the uh, for the kill with the Type 100. Not sure how I feel about this gun. The aim down sight's really slow. Um, it hits like a truck, but I, I don't think this is a final form build. It's not something I'd be willing to make a video on. The sniper, though, um, I'm in love with. All right, no heartbeat sensors. Generally, I can trust that a building is clear, though, if I run by it and I hear... Move it. Chests unlooted. Although there is a special type of person that likes to camp in buildings. Oh, guy up here. I see him. Really tough to see a player with cold blooded, but fortunately. I have the zone advantage. Maybe wrapping up on me. He is. Yeah. Nice. So I didn't see him there. Would have been the smart play for him to take the high ground on me. Wanted to double check to make sure that didn't happen. I wasn't going to double check while scoped in though. Because obviously we didn't have uh, This guy was cold blooded. But end up lining up the snipe. As I was saying, I, I do feel like this sniper, however, is like final form sniper. Especially with all the foliage. It's it's fantastic to shoot through. Thinking we need recon here. Right. UAV beginning flyover. I see some goodies. I don't think there's anything of much use in these weapon drops. I think most of the things that I've found have been like uh Meet here. Like bazookas and ammo and like nothing crazy I, I i wouldn't go out of my way if i were you guys to to get one of these so this guy's wrapping actually close towards me uav is out of fuel turning for resupply he's wrapping back but i want to not overcommit. yeah see i, I didn't want to like start pushing up yet and i wanted to see like what his decision was going to be if i didn't see him for a while that would mean he would rotate down the hill but considering he was like kind of touching the, the gas the entire time anyways, I was assuming he was a little bit more of a hesitant player. And if he caught me in no man's land, I would have been heartbroken. So I waited a sec to, to see if he would double back. Fortunately, he did. Yes, he's moving. I was about to say, I feel pretty confident on the rotation because I haven't seen anyone in a while. Right on cue. He, he's over here somewhere, so I'm going to make Get a deep wrap. Because with the sniper, the more space I have, the better. Minus the cluster strike coming in right on top of me. That's very nice of the game. Not a fan of that mechanic. Kind of cresting this hill to make sure he doesn't crest the hill on me. And then now moving to this next piece of cover. If I have an area to finesse around. I'm not seeing him, which really concerns me that he made a deep wrap early. So I'm going to keep wrapping left. Always thinking about where my next piece of cover would be. Stopping scanning. And I'm not seeing anything. He might be under this bridge, honestly. It's a really bad spot. I'm going to deep wrap because there's a line of cover right here. At least a little bit more than if I were to run right there. There's like no man's land. But now he's the only, not the only guy I should be focusing on. I'm just going to pretend like he doesn't even exist anymore. We'll make a pinwheel wrap up the left-hand side. That building's going to be the first one we need to clear out. Marking new 
safe zone. In a minute since I had to move a mouse like that. Pop Dead Silence was trying to get some information, right? Because I heard him break open the door, so I figured he was finessing outside. That's why I pre-aimed that corner. This gun has a little bit of slower aim down sight, right? I didn't want to like be hop chow around this corner with without with a slow aim down sight weapon. That's why I pre-aimed it, but he didn't push. And I didn't immediately vault into the window. I just kind of jumped by it. Just in case there was someone there. And as you would expect in any late game circle, every, every building's going to be taken. Good information right there that there's someone inside of that building lower. Just picked up two lucky stun grenades. That's incredible. I really, hmm, I really don't want to fight inside that building, but I might need to. Actually, there's a high ground that we can take, which might be worth... I think we go for it, especially with the sniper. See if we can work the high ground. If anything gets too ugly, we have we have rooms to finesse the high ground, right? We've got a cluster. We've got two stuns. We've got two frags. Don't play too crazy right off rip. Based off the dead bodies here, we got to be really careful. See where the zone pulls. Our back. If it pulls off the building, Get to the new safe zone. wow. Gas is closing in. So like that would be a really nice position to hold because there's some natural terrain. Jumping off, there, there, there's there's people below me, 100 percent right. There's people below me, and there might even be a guy up top. Only bad thing about taking up here is the guy up top would have an angle to to, to shoot me. But I think the play is to like rotate. In Enemy UAV active. Enemy advanced UAV before I get stuck in that choke point. Because that choke point right there, everyone who's late rotating. Right? No way, Isaac, you can't lose that. Dang. I missed input there. I tried to crouch and I stood back up and took that extra crack damage, and that's what killed me. I win that gunfight, but I, I miss input. All right, let's see what this guy does. Total misinput on my end. 100% predicted it. There'd be someone down low there. Wow. Using every bullet and his gun there. Gets the advanced UAV up. Pushes right towards the opponent. Oh, man. We were in a pretty easy lobby, weren't we? He's got double flash. He could flash over, but he's pushing behind a tree that's less cover. He's got decent movement, but... Oh, uh, that's why he moved out. He was getting precision. He's got double flash, homie. Use the double flash. Yeah, too late. Too late. Nice. That was a good round. That was a fun round.